Hello, everybody. I'm 755 Media, and you're about to experience a, a video if you're on a replay or a live broadcast right now. Uh, just kidding, right here. Yeah, I'm just kidding. And 755 Media, I encourage you guys to go ahead, hit the thumbs up button on both channels. Please do. The kids love to see thumbs up. Uh, share me out if you can. And also, uh, get your paints ready. If you're ready to paint a heart today, today is National Nurse Day. And the biggest thing we can do to celebrate them is a heart. And also, I'm trying to get you guys prepared for Mother's Day. So, kids, if you want to paint a heart for your mom for Mother's Day, go ahead, set your easels up, get your paints out, and let's get busy. Yeah. It's hot noon. Hot noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. Draw. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm too set up. Five, five, uh -huh. is here. The wait is wait, over. Wait, Let's go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? Wait. I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? I know that. Thank you, everybody, for coming in this afternoon. Please, again, make sure you hit the thumbs up and share me out if you have the capabilities to do so. I'm 755 Media, and I'm here today. We're going to do some acrylic art using a variety of acrylic paints. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of them. However, if you guys want to sponsor me, please feel free to do so. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready. I got my apron on. I got my my easel set up and i'm going to get my paints out but i want to get them out with you okay so today we're going to do a mother's day heart and also it's it's kind of planned like uh uh also it can be for national nurse day which is a heart and this and that heart is 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 um you guys it's one of my favorite symbols uh the heart is symbolizes love it's easy to draw and I'm going to show you how. So today, I have a 12 by 12. No, this one is a 10 by 10. A 10 by 10 canvas, you guys. I've already got it uh, guess old and ready to go. If you don't have guess old, it's okay. Use what you have. If you're painting on paper, uh, one thing I like to advise you guys to do, um, 
after you finish painting, it's going to get a lot of wrinkles, you guys. It's going to get a lot of wrinkles. So what you want to do is you want to press it down. And the way you can do that is by putting heavy weight of books on top of it. Or maybe after it dries, now only after it dries, you can press it between your mattress. Hmm, that's something to think about. Any way of pressing it will be good for you to get those wrinkles out and get it ready for framing. If your mom wants to frame it, you always go to uh, like the Dollar Tree or something like that. I'm not sponsored, but you all go there and you can get uh, frames to put your work in and put it under glass where it be preserved for many years to come, okay? So let's get started. I want to show you guys something. So you the the basic the basic design of a heart and i have one here i use this for molding okay so this is the basic design of a heart okay your actual body inside your body people say put your hands over your heart your heart is not shaped like this it's it's uh it's shaped differently you can always google that and find out more about that but for the symbolization of a heart this is the shape and a lot of people take their fingers and they Curled in like this. And all my fingers are not that long, but you can make a heart shape like that. Oh, my is kind of crummy. But anyway, you can do it. You can do it, okay? And probably take practice like I need to practice with it. But, hey, practice make perfect heart dip. Yeah, bad joke. Um, Shout out to Auntie Cuddles today. She's under the weather, so she won't be joining us. Unless you make a surprise visit, well, I'll let you know if that occurs. So, um... And this is the heart shape. So we want to we want a heart shape on our canvas, right? But this heart is like too big to go in there. So it's not like we can trace it. So we're gonna draw one today. I want you to get out a pencil. If you have any type of drawing pencil, get that out. If a number two pencil will work just fine. Okay, so you get your canvas out, right? And so I'm gonna use something round. You need something round, you guys. So get out something round. How about this roll of tape? Okay, I'll use that. So what I want to do is kind of just figure out where the center, the center of my drawing is going to be. Now, you can take a measuring tape or a ruler and measure it out. I know this is a 10 by 10. I'm going to eyeball mine, so I'm going to put mine right in the center of the canvas. I'm going to put a line at the top. And I'm also going to put a line at the bottom that's pretty much in the same area like this. See my little line right there? And see my little line, line right there? Right. So you get your roll of tape. You'll come over and make sure it's kind of in the middle, right? And you're going to draw a circle. Well, you don't have to draw a full circle. You could draw part of a circle all the way around and go straight into that center line. And if you want to make it easier on you, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around with my roll of tape, okay? See my circle? Yeah, now let's do one on this side. And they can overlap a little bit, okay? We really do need them to overlap a little bit. Just a tad bit, not a lot. Just overlap them a little bit because when you space them out, your heart going to have a lot of space in it. And nothing's worse than a heart with empty space. Yeah, we want to keep that heart filled in. All right, so this is how my two circles look. You see them? Cool. Now what you got to do is come right on the side of this circle and closer. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. And maybe I should bring you guys over to the to the cam, to the the easel and then we can connect our circles, okay? So go ahead and draw your circles out and I'll see you at the at the um, easel. Yeah, let's go. It's hot noon. 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 Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll teach 755. Hey, uh -huh. The wait is wait, over. Wait, wait, Just wait. kidding. Are you ready? Wait, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Okay, let's get ready. All right, so I'm going to point this down a little bit and maybe bring you guys out. I want to talk about the art that we did last week as well. So I had that on hand. All right, so we're going to set this thing right about here for now. And let's get all the distractions out the way. Now, what I was saying is you, you take your you take your 
roll of tape, you put it here, you trace over it, and you put one right next. And then you want a little line that's overlapping, just a little bit, right? And then what I want you to do is come up on the side of this uh, part of the circle and just take your pencil and connect it straight as you can to that center line, okay? You got me? You guys following along? I hope so. And then you come over here and you take this one and you trace it and you bring it down there as well. Boom. Now, normally you would erase these lines so that you won't have these lines showing. But we're painting with acrylic paint. If you're painting with watercolors, I suggest you do erase the lines because your, the pencil line will show up through your watercolors, okay? So go ahead and erase your lines and get ready, honey, to start filling in your background because that's what comes next. We always fill in the background first so that what we're showing up front stands out more. It becomes front the front of our art, and that's what, we, what makes our art pop, okay? So I'm going to bring this microphone over just a little bit. I want to make sure you guys are hearing me nice and clear, okay? And also, I want to I'll probably just move this over. I want you guys to see it really good. It looks like you all might be leaning a little bit to the left. Yeah. So um, I'd like to welcome in everybody for the Just Kidding side. All my lovely paint slingers. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you all being here this afternoon. And uh, each and every time you come, it's exciting for me. It really is. I really enjoy you guys. So you guys uh, feel free to check out all of the videos that we have over here on the Just Kidding Show for you all to watch. It's clean over there. So feel free to go ahead. If you need any help, all you got to do is let me know. You can do that by hitting me up at uh, Just Kidding Art at 755 um, I'm sorry, you can hit me up in my email <laughs> at 755mediaart at gmail.com. So let me put that at the bottom in case you guys need some assistance. I'm always here for you. So just hit me up, okay? Yeah, here it goes. We're going to put that down at the bottom. I'm going to go over here while your kids are setting up and say hello to all of my 755 Media side adults are in the room Talking about Shandy Cheek music, baby. What's going on, spiritual sister? Yeah. Hello, E Money. E Money in the building. Yeah, he on the beat as well. What's up, E Money? Lena Doorcraft. Hey, Lena D. How you doing, baby? Yeah, thank you for coming in this afternoon. I appreciate y'all. Hey, go, my girl. Crafter, activate. This on my late night crafter with Stacy in the building. Hey, Stacy, what's going down? Appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for coming in this afternoon. MLW Fisherman. You know you got to get that big fish, big guy. Let me see if I can find it real quick while the kids are setting up. And I don't want to delay them, so here you go. Yeah, we got you coming. And the kids going to see your big fish, too. Yeah, that's coming from Just Kidding, honey. Hey, Stace, Stace, what's up, baby? Good Eats Homestead. How you doing, sweetheart? I appreciate y'all coming in. I appreciate you. Good Eats. Yes, come on through, fam. Passionately intrigued. That's on deck. What's going on, home team? Yeah, you driving, you'll be home soon. Drive safely, my darling. Appreciate you coming through here. Yeah, yeah. David Corey with the crop. Crop is in the building. Said, what's up? What's up, crop? We in with the kids today, and we doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? This is how we do it here on. Just kidding. Welcome in. Appreciate everybody. Y'all make sure y'all share the kids out. Go over there and visit the channel. I'm going to ask Nightbot to go ahead and drop Just Kidding link. If you could do that for me and hear my voice, I surely would appreciate it, okay? Let's get into this art. So we got the heart. We're painting this for my upcoming Mother's Day as well as today is National Nurse Day. Okay, so my heart is going to have lots of coloring in it. You guys saw the, uh, ah, thing on it. I do not have, I do not have a reference photo available, but the reference photo can be seen on the at the beginning of the live screen before the description so we're going to do a lot of curly cues in this heart um so let's see here let's see if i can get it real quick uh, let's see here it's so pretty you guys so i really want y'all to see it 
Uh, let's see. If I can grab it. I'm not sure if it's going to let me share it while I'm working with you all. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Let's get into it, family. Um, my color today for my background will be... Uh, it could be any color. Because this heart is going to be so colorful. It can be any color. But I think what I want to pick is something I haven't... I haven't used since I think Captain Crunch is a background, and that's going to be orange. So today we're going to use an orange. If you guys have orange, you want to use it, fine. If not, that's okay. Pick whatever color you like, all right? So I'm going to put that squeeze a little bit down here, and this is a thick body paint that I am using, and it's by Master Touch. I got it from Hobby Lobby, you guys. Well, once again, I'm not sponsored there, but I just want to let you know what I am using, Okay. So I got this orange, and I think that I really like it. In fact, no, nah, the last time I used this orange, it wasn't Captain Crunch. I think I used this orange for Strength From Within LLC, and she's a great, great, great supporter of the channel. Her daughter, Monkey Monks, is a pink slinger. And so, yeah, that was the last time I used it. But I'm going to use it again. Let's go, y'all. So I'm going to get right into this paint. I'm going to try to make this live as short as I can, you guys. Um, so I will be whipping through this thing. I want you all, uh, shout out to Christopher. Yeah. Christopher, our paint slinger. And we was painting this right here. Renegade, um, Renegade, uh, dang it, what's the name of it? Oh yeah. Renegade <laughs> Raider. Okay. Renegade Raider. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, sometimes I get mind foggy. Hello, Salon Diva V. How you doing, honey pie? Thanks for coming in. Guac, what's going down? Thank you for coming in. I'm just glancing over my shoulder looking at the screen, but you guys are behind me, so I don't know if you're coming in until I do glance over. So don't feel like I'm mistreating you by not saying hello. I just want to say hello to everybody. Yeah, I said, Miss Ellen, I see you, baby. All right, so Renegade Raider is on hold right now because we want Christopher to come in. He's we had a really busy schedule, guys, and so he has to take care of some personal family business today so we're going to allow him to do that because we all need to so we're doing mother's days and it just so happens i mean you know his personal day is with his mom so um sometimes you have to spend time with your parents um and love on them just because they they loved on you you remember you know when you was a baby you couldn't even you couldn't do anything and so they loved you and created you and so sometimes you have to spend time loving on them as well. It's a give and give situation, right? And that goes for all of you kids. You know, just not Christopher. He's doing the right thing as a young man. He's taking care of his parent. So, you know, it has to be done. And there it is. So we're going to give a big love hug out to Christopher this afternoon. And we know he'll be catching a replay. So we're not worried about it. And Christopher... Whenever you get an opportunity to come back, and I know you anxiously are waiting to, uh, we'll see you and we'll finish that art up. I told the kids last week I refuse to do that art without Christopher, and I really mean that. So we're not going to go back on that. So you guys just have to be patient because if it was you, you would want to be allowed the same uh, situation that we afforded Christopher, okay? So, yeah, now, so we got that out the way, that business out the way. And so now what I am doing, you guys, is I am standing my brush straight up, straight up. It's not, I'm not leaning down with it. I'm standing it straight up, and I am edging around the heart. I'm dragging the paint and dragging it all the way down as far as I can go, all right? And I made my heart super big. You guys do not have to make your heart as big as mine, but I wanted my heart to be big, all right? Because I have a big heart. Yeah, I've been told that. Shout out to Assessor. He was a sis. Appreciate you coming in. Auntie Cuddles is here, you guys. I know y'all love her. So, see, I just want to let y'all know that accessory is Auntie Cuddles. If you have snuck over here to Sub 5 side. If all the kids over here, get out of here. Go back on the this kidding side. Get out of here right now. Yeah, get out of here. Go over there. Yeah, go over there with Shandy. Yeah. All right, something cruddy was in my paint. I just flicked it off. But anyway, let's go, kids. Let's get this background done. You see, I'm not just saying, 
This is not what I'm doing. I'm not saying, oh, I'm painting. No, I'm putting this paint out there and I'm dragging it around and I'm pushing it around and I'm making coverage, honey. I'm making I'm making small work out of this large canvas that I have. Yeah, yeah. I see you, accessory. We know, baby. Accessory said I got a toothache. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make a heart for 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 Auntie Cuddles because she deserves it. She's always here with us and loving on us and helping us out. I'm standing in my brush up like once again, and I'm dragging it along the heart line. And I'm doing my best not to go into the heart. But if I do, I'm not going to be crying or mad. I'm not going to get upset about it and storm out. Because we have other paint we can put on top of it. It's going to make it It's gonna make it okay. So while I'm painting all of this and that, and therefore it's in the background, and you know what I mean. While I'm doing that, I'm studying my brush up. If I have to pick my canvas up off this easel, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this really nice and get that nice little point at the bottom, right? I'm also, while I have it up, I'm going to go ahead and do my sides. Okay, so I'm going to take my time and I do my sides. Shout out to all the nurses out there. Happy National Nurse Day. I appreciate you. I have a really cool nurse in my doctor's office, and I really like her a lot. Um, nurses are critical creatures. I mean, they do a lot for us. And whatever the doctor, they, they need help too. The doctor needs help. And nurses are there to provide assistance to the doctors as well as us, the patients, you know. So they got a lot. They do a lot for us. And I just want to say I appreciate all the nurses in the world. Yeah. So shout out to the nurses. So you guys. Let's get this heart together. So now I am telling you, this art is serving dual purpose. Yeah, we're going to send this heart out to all the nurses. And we're also going to make this for our moms because Mother's Day is coming up, you guys. And I want my mom to know that I love her. And I want you guys, mom, to know that you love her too. So we're going to make this art happen, okay? So I'm just finishing up. I'm grabbing my canvas, and I'm finishing all the edges. Now, the bottom edge I can't do right now, and that's only because I need to sit it down, okay? So once I get what well, I did do, it. oh, my goodness, I did all the way around. I'm the bomb. I'm going to sit it down anyway, okay? I'm going to go ahead and sit it down anyway, and now I could take my brush and freely Go around and finish off all my orange bits. And it's part of this side that I missed. Okay. So I got that going on. And like I said, use your biggest brush, you guys. And just go around the heart. Stand your brush up. All around a circle part now. And I'm going all around. You see my heart, you guys? Yeah, you see it. It's coming around. Yeah, so just go ahead. And don't fool around to my own painting. Oh, I'm an artist. No, that's not what you do. Not in the first stage anyway. You can get like that a little bit later on, really artsy like that. But for the mess, for the most part, when you're doing the background and you have a lot of work to do in the back, that's not the way to go, okay? So, all right. So I got this thing painted, my heart. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm just going to go over and get some of this paint off my brush in the areas that I think that may need a little bit more attention. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to paint this thing and we're going to let it dry, right? But while it's drying, we can paint the interior part of our heart. Steve Gilmore in the building. What's going on, big guy? He coming in like he always do. Showing love to everybody that's in the chat. I appreciate you, man. appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, Passionate Tree Dark said she's still driving, but when she get in, she's going to speak to everybody. So y'all just chill. Miss Ellen said she lit lit for show. I see you. I see you, baby. So we're just going to let this thing dry up a little bit. And I'm hoping I didn't miss anybody. So we got eight people in the building. Thank you for the eight people. I appreciate y'all. If each one of y'all share me out and two more people come, y'all know what that's going to mean, right? We're going to have a quorum. All right. So now I got my orange paint on my brush. It's okay. 
No problem. I'm not on need. I don't need the rent. I'm just gonna lay that down. Now, for for the for the most part, um, well, I just want to say something. I want to say something. Um, I want to ask. I want to ask. Um, okay. What well, I just want to ask you guys to um, to to answer this question. Healthy G mom in the building. You right on time, sis. Listen, I got something I need to ask you guys. Uh, it's a very serious question. Why did the artist? Um, why did the artist? Just kidding, artist. What did? No, not why. But what did the did the artist say to to his girlfriend? What did the artist say? To his girlfriend. Uh, Steve, I'll tell you. I know Steve wondering, like, probably like, I don't know. What what could they could it be? Well, Steve, listen, they say the artist said to his girlfriend, I love you with all my art. Boom, boom. Yeah. All right. We got some hard jokes coming up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nina said, let me paint you. Yo, says, I love you with all my art. Healthy G Mom, all the way. Send a shout out from Los Angeles, California, USA, baby. So you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so y'all didn't like that heart joke. All right, so I got another heart joke. I got another heart joke. Um, uh, what, 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 what did, what did the volcano? What did the volcano say to the to to um its significant others, its loved ones on Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day, see hearts can symbolize for Valentine's Day as well. All right, so while we're doing, what did the heart say to his his uh loved one on Valentine's Day? That's what I want to know. What what did he say? All right, so look, good guys, I want you guys to. Get out some colors. I got a red here. Okay, I got I got some red right here. So I'm gonna use this little bit of red. And oh oh, I'm gonna end up mixing up some red and orange later. Let's see how that looks. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit of red. And what we're gonna do is spiral spiral hearts. Okay, we're gonna get some spiral hearts going. I think I wanna. Oh yeah, before I yeah, I'm gonna do I wanna do that yet? Now nah, I wanna wait. I'll wait. Um, I have not, I didn't pre prep this heart, so you guys just bear with me because I did not pre prep pre prep my heart. This is something that I just came up with and I wanted to do it. Well, I'll tell you guys the volcano said to his loved ones, I love you with all my heart. Yeah, lava, I love you with all my heart. So, I what I want you to do is I want you to make a circle. With the tip of your brush, and it doesn't matter how it comes out, it's okay. Just make a circle, right? And then, then I want you to make a then take some orange. Take some orange. We're just doing this on a this is something we just gonna we might make up along the way here. And now take some orange and you mix that with the red. You can put some more red on there. And you go outside that circle, right? With the orange. And then I kind of want you to. What I want you to do once you make it, I want you to drag, drag that circle over and make it like a little cutesy little, I don't know what this is called. Whatever this is called, this is what we want. We want it. Yeah, we want it. All right. So yeah, get some more red and go in the middle and close that circle up a little bit. But leave just a little bit in there, right? All right, so we got a red one over there. And I, I and I want to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to make a circle over here. Don't put them next to each other, you guys. It's going to be very colorful, so we want to we wanna put circles and then this the circle again and then get some orange and then circle. Oh, that's too much orange. That's a lot. And circle again and drag it and drag it around. And this time I want you to go this way with it. This way. Just make it look 
curly Q. All right. Make it look curly Q like that. Yeah. It's going to be fun, you guys. We're just going to fool around with this paint. We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Best you need to build it. How you doing, baby? Salon Diva. Yes, let's go, fam. Let's get into it, y'all. I bet you need driving, so y'all, yeah, when she get finished driving, she say hello. But right now, she just keep her hands on the steering wheel and the eyes straight front on the road. So let's go. Drive safely. All right. Come on, fam. Let's go with the share out. Let's share this thing out, you guys. Let's go. All right. So we got those going on, right? So we got Mother's Day coming up. And this today is National Nurse Day. So this is all about the nurses and the mothers. And so whomever you choose to give this to, you can. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. All right, so let's get into another color. Let's get some yellow up here, you guys. So got some yellow. It's a heavy body. So, uh, yeah, this is a master touch. So this is mostly paints I'm painting with today. So we're going to get in here. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow out. Because I want all the colors of the, of the color spectrum on our palette today. Now, you don't have to use them all. Just use what you have. If you have certain colors that you you only uh, uh, only have, then that's what you use. I'm not, I'm not. Don't get upset about it. Don't get angry, you guys. We're just gonna mix. We're not rinsing. We're just gonna mix our brush, and we're gonna do it again. And this time, I want to make a little tiny yellow one. And so I just want to make a tiny spiral. Just a spiral. And I'm seeing that some of the orange is coming out in my brush, and that's fine. That's cool. And so now I'm going to make another tiny spiral of yellow. Maybe I'll do it like right here. Maybe I'll make it bigger. And I'll see that orange coming through. And it's okay. And I'm just going to spiral it. And I can make it big as I want. Okay, so I can just drag my breast. And I'm twirling my breast and dragging it. And then I can come back and fix it and make the spirals complete. Maybe add some more yellow in there. You know what I mean? So I add some more yellow in there. I'm just going to make a spiral out of it. And I am having fun because I am doing basically what I want. All right? If I don't want it, I won't use it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to put that in there in a spiral like that. Okay. Come on through here. So I might come over here and add a little yellow on a curve. Just a little yellow curve right here. And just blend it like that. Ooh, maybe if I put a little bit of yellow on this side too, that might look cute. Okay, I might like that, and I do. I really like it. Looks like fire. You guys know I like fire, and I like hearts, and it goes together for me. All right, so now at this moment, I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to switch some colors. I think I want to get into some blue. Yeah, blue, baby. So I got plenty of different blues, but today I'm going to use something called Brilliant Blue. I love this color. This particular color is by Liquitex, you guys, so here it is. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put some down right on my palette, right about there, and that's fine. We're going to eventually use all these colors that we're putting out, so I don't want you guys to start cringing like, wow, I'm using a lot of colors. You sure are, but it's okay. So maybe I'll come like right in the center of this heart, and I'll make another circle. All right, so I'll make another circle like that, and then I'll go in with my blue, and I'll just kind of Make another circle inside of it. And then I can spiral this leg off like, and this time I want it to go this way. And you can make it go whatever way you want. I could have made it go in, you know, but I didn't. Now let's take some yellow, okay? Yellow and blue makes what? Green. So we're just going to put some yellow inside of there. We're going to swirl it around. Okay, we're going to swirl it around. We're going to let the blue in the yellow touch, and it's going to give us a, greenish color and so we can come around and we can finish off our little design like that now i want to do a little one a little circle let's go with like like right here a little blue spiral right there and then we can bring it around and we're going to connect them like that right there see how i connected these two little lines right here and so i want you to connect them all right, it's going to be fine, you guys. Don't worry about it. It's going to be just fine. Please just trust me. So now I'm going to come over and I'm going to get the same blue. And I'm going to probably just go like 
maybe I could just go like right here and I'm gonna make a little circle and there's another circle on the inside and make another spiral and I'm gonna bring it around and I'm gonna connect it to this one like that okay all right so that's fine we're doing good you guys yeah yeah don't don't worry about nothing we got this we got this so maybe since I got a blue out I could do it over here to make another circle I always make middle circle and then another circle inside right and then we're gonna just bring a little spiral like right there and go like that right okay so now that we got that going on we got that happening um let's try to pick another color what color you think i should pick i think i want to pick purple yeah let's let's do some purple you guys all right so i got this purple right here it's very dark um and and, and it's 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 going to be okay all right so we're going to deox purple right here I just get a little bit out because a little goes a long way. All right. Hold on, you guys. I got to go check on something. I'll be right back. But meanwhile, I want you to watch commercial. Shout out to Tamika Davis in the building. What's going on, baby? All right. Let's go. All right. So let's watch this. Uh, where my kid is at? Yeah. What's this? There we go. All right, so I'm back. All right, so I got this purple. You guys, I was just making some big potatoes, right? All right, so now I got a little purple, and I think I want to go over here, and I'm going to make a little small, a small um, circle of purple right in here, and I think that would be cool. All right, so I'm just going to drag it around, and then the little line, I'll connect it there. And maybe do another one over here. And I can let them touch if I want. Maybe I'll grab some of that blue and put it in here with the purple. That should be nice, really nice. And I'll just bring it around like that. You know what I mean? Just make these little, little, little pretty things inside of it. You can make even more hearts on the inside. And you can do, you can do pretty much whatever you choose to do, fam. Okay, so, yeah. Tamika's here. That's right. That's why you guys go ahead and love on each other in the chat. I appreciate that. And we're getting it done. All right. So now, now you guys, uh, why, why, why didn't the skeleton refuse to propose to his girlfriend? He had a girlfriend and he, he wanted to marry her, but then he said, no, I'm not going to ask her. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because his heart wasn't in it. Yeah, you know, skeletons, they don't have hearts inside of them at all. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. All right. So, boom. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing what we're doing here. All right. So, we got purple. And you go. And I'm going to tell you this, too. You don't have to just leave them all straight if you don't want. If you don't want, you don't have to. You could even curl them up like, I could take it and curl it up like that. You know, and just and if you want to keep going with the curl, you can keep going with it. You can just take a brush and twirl it, and you can make it. You know, do whatever you want to do, like stuff like that. But the main thing is to get them all in and fill this whole heart up with curly swirlies. Okay, let's call them curly swirlies. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna start calling it. Yeah, so you make a curly swirly over here, put a circle, another circle inside. And come around and drag it. This time, make sure you stay in the heart now. It's going to be parts that goes outside the heart. But for when we're in the beginning, I want you guys to leave your curly swirlies on the inside. Maybe do something like this and connect your curly swirly. It's going to all work out in the end if you just allow me to guide you through this method. Okay? So now... With the dark curly swirly that we just did, I have some lavender too. Yeah, it's something I use when I painted PIA, passing the tree dark. So now I'm gonna take my 
light lavender, and I'm going here inside my curly swirly, and I'm just going to bring it around and make it all part of the whole shebang, right? So over here, I'm going to get some more of my lavender, and I'm going to come up and I'm going to make a curly swirly over here, all right? So I'm going to make this one go off around the edge of my heart, this one, because see the purpose of the curly swirlies with the tail on them is to close the heart off at the end, okay? At the end of the day, we want this heart closed off. We don't want to see no white, right? So just get some dark and go in and make a little circle, a little circle like so. Finish it off. Let the colors blend together. Let them work for you, okay? That's what you're going to do here. That's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm just rinsing. I just wanted to. You don't have to rinse. You do not have to rinse at this moment, okay? All right, so it's cool to take more different colors and make a little curly swirly inside this area like so. And it's cool to do it and drag, okay? And so we're just going to keep making the curly swirlies. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit yellow because this one didn't end the way I wanted I wanted to drag it along the side of the heart. But these colors are now blending together with the purple and the yellow. And it's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm just going to keep on going, okay? Maybe put it in here. It doesn't matter. As long as all of my area is filled up with color, okay? Because that's the goal. That's our main objective. All right. But I got some pink, you guys. Yeah, I mean, let's break some pink out. And I'm just going around and doing... A variety of different things because at the end of the day, when we finish, this is going to be full, right? And we're going to fill it in whenever we have to, wherever we have to, okay? So I'm going to get some pink. And maybe I'll store a little curly swirly right here, okay? And just glue it right there. So I'm going to put it in there, make a circle inside a circle inside a circle like that. And you drag this little swirly thing around just like that. Isn't that cute? All right, all right, so I like pink and red, so I can get some red to go inside of my pink one, like so, and then I'll take some more and go inside of this curly swirly, like that, and just drag it all the way to the end of the canvas, like so, and I like that. I'm gonna make it really round, make it really round, okay, just put a little bit in the middle, and so we're going, we're rolling, y'all, we're rolling. Okay, so now I think that as time I showed you um, what I'm going to do with this pink over here, all right? So I'll just do a little tiny curly swirly over here, and I don't need a tail, but I could just drag it going this way, like that, finish that off that way, okay? And maybe uh, let's go do a pink one down here. Yeah, I'll do a pink one over here, curly swirly circle. Inside a circle, and then I'll take the curly swirl and I'm gonna swirl it up all the way around and meet it up over here. Maybe just kind of swirl it around this this purple one like that. You know, you can do whatever you want, you guys. So I could take some purple and go inside of my pink and make another circle and just you know, I just you can just keep going, keep going. All right, so let's go back into some orange. All right, so I'm going to do another little orange one over here. Just a tiny one, right? So I can just do a tiny one, make a little curve. I still got other colors on my brush, so it's giving me a whole different color. You know what I mean? So that's cool. If you want to wipe your brush off, you can. Let's get into some more of this yellow over here. I think I would like to see a yellow one right there. So I'm just going to go in a circle with it. It's mixing up with the red and the pink because there, and that's fine. I'm gonna take this curly swirly and swirl it around this circle, going back the other way. Just make it these really cool, really super cool moves on this on this heart. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm making super cool moves, right? Black rain in a building. What's happening, baby? How you doing? Passing the cheat dogs. I hope your park saying hello to everybody like that. Just blurting it all out in the chat. Yeah. And just chill out. Because Good East is here. So Good East had your back. You know what I mean? All right. So I want to fill this one in. I got to look weird colors on my breast. And it's okay. 
just going to go ahead and start swirling it in just to make sure my big curly swirly that's right here is looking good. So I just want to blend it all in and just blend it in and finish it off like that. Right? So, okay, so that's looking pretty cool. If your brush is getting dry, go ahead and wet it up. All right? If you got more colors that you want to add to this, you can. Don't forget that always um, different colors do different things. You can add, you can, oh my goodness, what's that about? You can add different, uh, you can add more colors in the circles that you already done. And you can make new circles. I mean, new colors, okay? So I don't have a navy blue. I'm so sorry, guys. Forgive me. All right, so um, I got a darker blue that I want to bring into the fold. This is called pressing blue, you guys. It's a really dark blue. I'm going to bring that in. I want to bring every color dang it, that I have uh, available because this is going to be a really colorful heart. But we still have a lot of empty space to fill in. All right, so I got this dark, dark blue. It's called pressing blue. So I'm gonna get into it. Remember this one? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna add some pressing blue to it. I'm just gonna go in the white part that I've already, I've already done the lighter blue. I'm gonna get into the white one now. So I'm just going around it with that blue, and I'm gonna drag it straight into this purple, and maybe just curve it in here where I got some blank space. And I'm going to swirl it around like that. Looking good. Looking good. I think I want to get some dark green up here too. Okay. So, but then I'm going to do. So, I should come over here on this one. And I want to do another curly cue right here. You guys following along? Is every, everybody doing okay today? I hope so. And so, I'm just going to drain this curly cue over there like so. It's okay, you guys. So, I can get some of this yellow. And I can come over here. And uh, and I got yellow here, so I might as well do some yellow here. But this time I'm mixing the yellow with the green. And I'm trying to stay small because it's a small area. And I don't want to get off my canvas too much. But this time I'm doing a whirly, 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 squirrely. Right? And so when I did that, now I'm going to bring this, bring it down this way. And let it come around the part of this heart right here. But it turned green, but that's okay. I don't care. I don't care. All right, we don't care. All right. All right, so um, I got another. Uh, this is a, this is like an apple green. You know, it's called a vivid lime green. So this is a lime green. And since I got some green up there, I'm gonna put some more on here on this canvas, on this palette. And I'm gonna take some and put on my canvas. And I'm just gonna make another swirly cue. And it don't have to be green next to green. You know, not quite the way I'm doing it. You don't have to do that. You can do it any way you want. And some of these, you don't even need a tail on. Like, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make one. And it's got a little purple in it and a little green in it. And it's okay. I'm just going to swirl it like that. Okay? You don't have to put a tail, this little taily thing on each one. You can do whatever you like, you guys. This is your art. Okay? You're the artist. Okay? So let's get that settled. Let's get that understood. So I think I want another red one. I don't see too much red. Uh, Let's do some red over well, I did some there. I'll do one right here. So I do just a circle and another circle and a curly Q like so. Okay. And now, now I'm gonna do my curly Q, but I'm gonna make it come up from the top like so. And we're starting to fill this thing in, you guys. Starting to really be super cool, super cool. PIA, you fine, sis. I, I know, I know you, you was driving. So listen, you, you said hello. So you, you all right? Don't. Don't you worry yourself with all of that fuss. So we're going to get in here. We're going to make another little curly cue inside. Hope everybody's following along. Hope everyone is doing well. This one I will give a little curve up, like curve it right on up into that purple. Just like that. Okay? So, yeah, we're just doing this. This is fun, abstract art for everyone. Feel free to join in. If you want to go ahead and grab your paint brushes and uh, paints and come paint with us this afternoon. I'm trying to get um, myself healthy enough where I can come back on Mondays and Wednesdays, you guys. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm really, really trying hard. So we'll look forward to trying to do it Wednesday if I can. 
And if you don't see me, then you understand, right? All right, so we're going to put some of this powder blue up here. So we're just going to make a little circle. And uh, and I'll put a little bit down here to lighten this area up somewhat right there, like so. And just kind of drag it in. I could put it laid right on top of the other one. It's okay. It's no rule saying it doesn't have to touch. You know what I mean? So, But I do want to make a curly cue. I got a lot of paint on my brush, so I just bring it up here, and I'm going to make a big one, a big, gigantic blue one up here with that lighter blue, like so, circle inside a circle, but I want a little far, but when I take a contrasting color and put it on top of it, it would definitely, it would definitely fix that problem, okay? So don't worry. What I'll do is I'll take my brush now that I got this blue, and I'm going to make my curly cue to come between here, the one at the back, the little tail that's on our curly cue, just going to bring it through there, and I'm whipping it, I'm twirling my brush around, twirling it, and I made a curly cue that connected with this paint, which was still wet, and that's cool. So now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take this, do the same kind of method, I'm just going to drag this back behind here, okay? And it's fading into that purple and it's looking very, very cute. So I'm gonna drag it around and I'm just twirling my brush, twirling it. And I made a little look, I'm gonna get this extra paint off. And I made a little curly cue there. And it's kind of ob shaped. So what I'm gonna do is just take my brush now and I'm just going to make it bigger so I can use that glob of paint that was there. And I'm just gonna make it bigger, like so, and just make a little curly. Maybe I could take some of this lighter blue and go in the middle of this because I want to fill it in anyway. So just go in the middle of it, fill it in. I can use that same blue over here and fill it in. And I see a little bit need to be right there. And maybe right here in the middle of this one and just fill it in. You guys see where I'm going with this? It doesn't have to be perfect because it is abstract art. So I'm inviting you guys to challenge yourself and just make as many curly cues as you can. And if you have to go ahead and blend them in with your brush, like so, and make it like that, you can. Take that same color. You know it can, might look good together. And go ahead and fill these white areas completely in with your brush, okay? Like so, all right? So just kind of like, I wouldn't mix colors like, <clears throat> excuse me. I wouldn't mix colors like um, red and um, let's say green. I mean, those are complementary colors, but I wouldn't mix them because the red and green would turn like a muddy brown, dark green color. So don't do that. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. So I got this going on, but I'm really not fond of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this yellow a bigger one, okay? And even if I go outside my heart a little bit, it's okay. Um, but don't make the shape outside the heart. See, I kept the, the tail. The, I kept the tail to line the heart with. Don't lose that line. You can go outside of it with the circular part, but don't put your... <clears throat> don't put your tails outside the line, okay? So while I got some yellow on my brush, I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill in some of these spots that's missing a little bit and drag them together and keep it going, okay? <clears throat> so now I got a little yellow on my brush. I think I'm going to get into some of this orange, okay? And I might just put one here, a big one, yeah. I got a little orange on there. Oh, and I touched the green, so now I got some green on it. And that's cute. Okay, I like it. I like it. So just fill it in. Make sure you put a circle inside a circle. And make sure you put a tail on it, okay? Like so. All right. So now um, I maybe get back into this lime green a little bit. And I'll put another lime green one here, a circle, inside of a circle, like so. And I'm going to bring the tail around this orange part, like right there, connect it, and drag it, 
and twirl it and swirl it until I get that field in. See how that goes right there? Y'all like that? Okay, I like it too. Thank you so much for everybody that's got me playing on their TV while they working and doing things around their household. I'm Bice LLC is in the building. She's driving today as well. Shout out to you, baby girl. Drive safely now. Come on. We need you. We need you um, in one piece, honey. So drive very safely. All right? Thank you. All right. So now I got all kind of color paints, you guys. So I want to use them all because... I am greedy. All right, I'm greedy. And I want to see all of it. This is one color that Auntie Cuddles asked me to buy. It's like a pearlescent paint. Now, this particular paint, it doesn't give me a, a lot of co coverage, but I'm going to try it out. And then if it doesn't work, we'll add more to it, right? So I'm going to put that down. It's sort of like a orangey, pinkish red. I'm not sure what to call this, but the name of the paint is called... Uh, da, da. Pearl, pearlized wine red, okay? So I just want to use a little bit of that. This shout out right here is definitely for the mothers. Okay, right here. The pearlized wine red is for the mothers, honey. All right, so we're going to get some pearlized wine red off. And I think I want to make a really big one right here. So I'm just going to go, oh, it looks pretty good right there too. So we're going to make a circle inside of a circle like so. And we're swirling around, right? And so, yeah, make it bigger if I have to. It can go on top of this other thing. And I'm going to drag my tail down like that. Like that. Just like that, okay? And maybe this pearlized wine red might need, a, might need a friend, okay? We all need friends, right? So I think a friend will be this really, really dark purple. So I'm going to get into this dark purple. That's a friend to the purple to the uh, pearlized wine red, and I'm going to go around it inside of it and just add a little something, 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 and drag it down, okay? Dragging it down like that, all right? Looking pretty good, right? You guys, come on now. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm over here, and I think I got some enough pearlized wine red on my brush where I can come in here, and I could just make maybe some V-shapes like that and V-shapes inside of there. Maybe I had a V-shape right here. Yeah, right at the bottom of this thing. And just put a little V-shape in there like so. I don't know why. I'm just doing it because I want to, right? All right. So, so now, or maybe this red or this red one, I can add a little bit of that pearlized wine red and just give it a little swirly color like so. Yeah, I like that. And even here on this red, you can always find places to put it, you guys. You just got to want to do it, okay? You guys can do this. This is easy, peasy, mac and cheesy, okay? Come on around here. Make that thing a little bit something, something. Like that. Yeah, don't forget to put that in the middle. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We're partying. This is happy, happy nurse's day, everybody. Every If you ever had a nurse, take your blood. <laughs> Happy Nurses Day to you. All right, so my blue is running all the way down here, so I'm going to get some blue out. And I got a lot over there, but I think I want to just add some more into this one. See, once it dries, you can add more in there and add different, more fun colors. You feel me? All right, so, yeah, yeah. All right, so listen. We'll go over here. We're going to do this. Yeah, and we'll put that in there. All right, so maybe some more pink, you all. What we're going to do, grab some pink. I'll make a big Big pink one over here. Yeah, there it goes. A big pink one. And I said a little bit of blue on my brush. So I'm just dragging it around. And I'm making a circle out of it inside of a circle. And I'll come through with my curly cue like so. I might be just wrap this whole thing around that red one like that. Because I got some purple on my brush. And I'm starting to see some things starting to fill in around this joint. You know what I mean? Like so. Right? You feel what I'm saying? All right, so the thing is to make these curly cues, baby. We're going to make them, we're going to make them a lot of them, all right? So we're going around, and the more and more and more we do, the better we start to look, all right? So I'm getting a little bit more pink in this area. I don't know why I just did. And I wish I hadn't, but I did. So, oh, well, it's done, right? All right, so maybe another pink one over here in this part area. 
And you just have to spread them around. Just like we did those gumballs. Remember the painted the gumballs, you guys? So, yeah, you just keep spreading it around like so. And like I said, every one of these does not have to have a curly cue, but you can put one, a small one on, or you can put a large one on, right? All right, so that's that on that. All right, so let's go back into what colors do I want? I think I, think I want to try purple again, and maybe I did one there, I did one there. How about a purple one? That's a purple one there. Well, it, it might not be too bad. I can put another purple one there. But this purple one going to be dark. So I can just put a purple circle in there like that. All right. Put the purple circle in there like that. I'm going to make the curly cube come over here like that. And you just fit it in like a puzzle, right? Each curly cube is going to be fit in like a puzzle, right? So that's what you need to do. So since it's all purple and it's dark there, I think I'm going to let it dry and I'll probably come back with maybe some white or something and lighten it up. It's up to you. It's up to you how you do it. And how you want to fill this thing in, right? All right, so I'm got some navy blue, and uh, I put navy blue there, and I can always put a little small navy blue one, and I'm gonna do that right, right here, just a small one, like so, and swirl it around, right? Appreciate everybody that's in the building today, showing love to the Just Kidding family. I appreciate you, and I know they do too. The kids love you guys for it, so thank you so much. So now start filling in. If you got little tiny pieces of uncovered uh, heart, go ahead and co cover it in with any color you want, okay? But in any color you choose. I'm going to do this dark blue again. I'm going to do it over here. And I'm just going to swirl it in like so. And I think I will add some white into this um, right now so it doesn't look so just... Too much color, to, you know, color piled up. You can just kind of brighten and lighten, all right? So let's try it. We got this blue, right? So we put the blue round there, and let's just put a, a curly Q right here on the side of this purple one, and we'll just curl that in like that. And now we got a blue circle, right? So now you just get you a little bit of white on your brush, and now go in with the, a circle, inside of a circle and then only one side of your blue stem or tail all right and that's cute that's so cute right there <clears throat> so start doing that around adding some white here and there maybe we'll go back and add some white in here yeah okay and just swirl it around do it do some of that purple remember that one complete purple one Let's just do a little circle in there and drag it around. That's really cute. We can even go as far as with the purple on our breast, the light purple, and go inside this pink one with the white. Circle inside the circle and curl it around. Yeah, see how things are starting to change up? It's easy to do when you use your imagination and your creativity and your art supplies, honey. You could do a lot of stuff, okay? So I'm going a little, it's getting a little dark here. I want to do some more light stuff. So I got some more of this. I'm going to make maybe a light pink, um, light pink swirl curly cube. Okay, so I got some white on my brush. I got some pink on my brush. So now maybe I can come in here and do a light pink curly cube, right? There go a light pink one. And I'll put a little... Put a little um, tail on it, and I'm going to swing it around the bottom of this purple one like that. That's cute. I like that color. I could even get into this white with that. I mean, I'm sorry, yellow with that, and maybe come down here and make a smaller one. All right? Just a small one. You don't have to all, they don't all have to be big, you know what I mean? We have small ones, too. And curl it around like so. So since I got some yellow on here, maybe I'll take some more yellow and I might put it, mm, let's see, right, uh, right here, right here. So you don't want to get them too close to each other. That's what I'm trying not to do. All right, so just a little circle. And I'm just going to leave that as a little circle. 
Because sometimes you can take some, you can I can put it like a little circle of yellow right here, right? So make circles when you have spots that need to be filled in. Make circles in them. All right, or any color you choose. I just try not to use the same color next to one another, and it'd be just fine, you guys. All right, all right. So we'll come around here. I got some yellow on my breast. I think I'll mix that with some green, and I'll come in here and I'll make a green one with a little yellow in it, and I'll just kind of swirl it around. Just some circles at this point, and you have curly cues going on, and then you have circles. All right, so let's make a curly cue with the circle. All right, all right, so we got that going on. Wipe your brush down if you need to. You can always get into this lighter blue thing again. Let's see, over here, make a curly cue, circle swirl like that, and then put a tail on it and bring it down all the way in that area. And like so, okay, it's starting to really get to fill up in here, you guys, that's what's up. All right, so maybe I'll go back into some red and just put some straight red right here. That would be nice. Just make a nice little curl and swirl. Curl and swirl, okay? Yeah, another one over here. Well, that's some red there already. Let's go here with the red and curl. Circle inside a circle. And I'll take this curly cue from the back up top like that and bring it down this time. And so I don't have them going in it. I don't want them all going in the same direction. You know what I mean? All right. So um, now let's go to another color. Which um, let's see what this blue and this red mix up. Blue and red mat match up, mash up. I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, you guys. This little mash up, and I'll bring the curly cue in there like that. And that looks cute. Okay. So we get all these colors mixed in. <clears throat> and um, and you start to see them mixed in with each other. It becomes just so pretty and abstracty. Okay, so I want you guys to remember you don't have to do it all this this way. You could have done each one of these little curls, um, like red and then black accent to them, and it was like minute red and black heart on uh, maybe a white canvas or. You can do it in a variety of any style that you want, any colors that you want. So I just added some really dark green here, and I'm going to come right in here, and I'm going to just do a circle inside of a circle, like so, All right? Circle inside of a circle inside of a circle, and I'll take this curly cue, and I'll wind it around that red that we just did, and I'll take it all the way to the edge, you guys. And maybe I'll get some white and I'll go inside the center of it and just lighten it up some, like so, and do a little swirl, all right? And I could bring that same green maybe down here at the bottom. So I already got white on my brush and green on my brush, so I just made a whole little light colored green. And I could make the swirly curl this way and bring it back around from up top of this orange one, like so, all right? And also, I can take some blue. And uh, this was that brilliant blue, right? And I can bring it next to this other blue and make a swirly curl like so, completely with the blue, like that, all right? And then I'll bring it around the back of this pink one and let it up, let my brush up, all right? Add some white in there just to give it a... And then that way you can really see the curl and the swirl in it. I'm hoping. <laughs> it kind of ached that white up. Yeah. I'll come back and do it. All right. So we got another color in here. Let's maybe go back over all the blues and make sure they're filled in the way I want. <clears throat> okay. So I got blue. Let's add some red and blue together. And I'll come back in here. And I, I might just put a swirly cue right here here and just fill it in and I'm kind of covering up the other ones but it's okay it's fine don't worry about it so uh, I got this little purpley looking paint now I can come on this side and I'm making my circle and covering it in 
All right, so maybe I want to start adding some more V shapes. I have some orange, so I can put some of this orange in these little surrounding places. I mean, the empty spaces. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm so sorry, guys. So I find all my little empty spaces and I put this little orange in there just to fill it in and make it seem or appear as if this heart has. It's almost see-through because you're seeing the orange from the background. All right, so boom, we're starting to add them all in. James Guy Guy in the building, the man that got all them subs over there, honey. And if you want them too, y'all better go over there and check them out. Yeah, connect and get yourself some new friends. Yeah, I see you, James. Appreciate you, man. Happy Saturday to you. James is a big supporter for the Just Kidding. I was coming in and saying hello. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, all your white spaces, you just go in with your orange. And just hit it with your orange. And it's going to start looking, like I said, like your heart may be um, see-through somewhat. So go ahead and take care of that, you guys. And then I'm going to get into some more of this lavender. And I'm going to come into this one where I had this pink. And I still got orange in my breath. But I'm going to drag this around in a circle. And then another circle inside a circle. And I'll spin it off on that tail like that. All right? I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to get into that orange. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in these little spots right here. Shout out to everybody out here in YouTube. Please, you guys, uh, if you can, go ahead and share me out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you leave, please. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm just filling in all my little spots with a little bit of orange again. Every time I see one develop, I'll fill it in, okay? Thank you for the smash on the like button, baby. Appreciate you. Boop bear in the building. Yay. Say, hey, sissy love angel. What's going on, baby girl? How you doing? Yeah. You just came to the show with saying love. I appreciate it. I understand. I understand if you can't. I hope you have a good report with your with your uh, chiropractor doctor today. I do understand, honey. We got to do what we can, when we can, when we can, how we can, and where we can, right? So go ahead and take care of your business, and I'll catch you on another show, whether it's your show or mine. I really do appreciate you. Yeah. All right. So keep going, you guys. Keep filling these things in, making more circles inside of a circle. Let the paint that was already on your brush take you where you need to go. Okay. Let it guide you. If you're overlaying some of your circles, that's all right. It's going to be okay, you guys. Have no fear. All right. Just drag that tail. Make sure you drag that tail and connect it, you guys. All right? Connected. That's all I'm asking you to do. All right. So now, I think I want a little bit more red down here. So I'm going to make some red circles. And I still got a little green on my brush, but it's okay. I'll just make a little red circle here. And maybe one over here. And I'm almost done with this thing, you guys. So kids, please feel free. Feel free to... Um, Explore. Make sure that you, if you want to add more to your art, you can. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be like this. You can take your fingerprints because this might be for your mom. And you can maybe dip your fingers in paint and press your fingers here and get your fingerprints on there for your mom. Um, if you want to give this to a nurse because today is National Nurse Day. If you want to get this to a nurse friend or family member that you have, you can. I'm just going to take some white at this moment, and I want to go in this area here just to see what will happen because I do have colors on my brush. Oh, it's giving me a pastel color, you guys, and that's cool. I'm going to take a tail and drag it all the way, drag it all the way down to this pink area. I'm going to just drag it all the way down. Oh, I like how that turned out. You guys, you should do it too. Get you some paint, some white paint on your brush, and you might have other colors already in there. Go ahead and get it and make you a, a, a circle, right? Make it a curly circle, 
curly whirly and drag it down. Drag it. Drag that sucker down inside of your heart. Yeah, like that. That's a that's a good move right there. And if you have to, you still use the whiteness on your breast and find other areas here in your heart that you might want to add a super white curly swirly to. And go ahead and add it in there and let these colors blend, honey. Let them blend together and work for you. Okay, this is this is a great project. This project is has no um, age limit to it. You could be two years old and doing this piece with us right now. It's okay if you do. All right, it's okay. You can do it. So it's not it's not really a hard thing to do. <clears throat> so the white I'm adding in has added some interest to the art. Um, I do want to go back over this one. If you don't like something, you can let it dry or you can blend it. Let it blend back in and go back over it like so. I didn't care for that one too much. All right. So now I'm here. I think I'm going to use this pink that I have. And I'm just going to make me a small circular curly cube. And I just turned my brush and just twirled it around. And now I'm going to take the tail in and I'm going to back it around this blue one. I'm just going to curl it right around that blue one. How we doing, y'all? Y'all like it? Auntie Cuddles, do you like what's going on? She may be sleeping, you guys. We pray for my sister. She's she's awesome. Awesome lady. And she helps so much around here with the kids. So we miss you, Auntie Cuddles. We miss you. All right. So I'm just filling this in with orange. All the spaces that I have this white. Um, that's canvas. That's canvas. You just want to take the tip of your brush, grab me some orange paint, and fill it right in, you guys. Just fill it right in. And it's going to be okay. Trust me when I tell you. It's going to make your painting complete and fill it all in. We've come a long way with this heart, you guys. So I just want to say shout out to the people in the building right now. Nine people in the house. Bring the house down, y'all. All right. So... I got some green. I'm just going to go in a circle with that very lime green it was called. So I'm just going to put that in a circle. And um, where else can I put it? I put it a few places. So I think I'm about lime greened out. How about some um, more of this lavender? Just straight lavender right here. That probably would go real well. Yeah, it did too. That looked real nice right there. And I might even bring some of it over here. And just fill this area in. Even though I could have filled it in with my yellow, I just want to fill it in with my purple. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. So I got some uh, more of this wine red. So I'm just going to go ahead and plop some of that here and make a circle out of that right there. Like so. All right. Just make a circle in a circle. And make a tail on it. That's all you got to do, folks. That's it. That's it. All right, so that's looking real good. And I just got this little part down here to contend with. I've got all types of colors down here. But maybe I should put some darker green. Well, this was the darker green one. Let me, let me just swirl that on there. All right, swirl that right there, the darker green one. Don't forget the tail. See, the tail is adding something, and I don't know what you guys might think is adding, but it is adding something, right? So you guys want to keep that tail, keep that tail going, all right? So, yeah, let's keep that going. All right, so, um, yeah, I could have not did that one. Maybe I'll come through with some white and try to change the color of that one. Because like I said, anything that you did that you're not happy with, you can always change it. Because acrylic paint is very forgiving. So yeah, shout out to you for giving it your best shot. And sometimes creativity doesn't go the way we plan. So yeah, shout out to you for trying. Give you an A for effort. What color did I not use? I got yellow over here. I think I want to just go red, red. Red, red, right there. A little bit. 
and I'm making a small circle and I'm swirling it out. Now I'm going to get some orange and fill in all these little patches that I may have missed and make them feel that they're filled in, okay? All right, so now we got everything filled in, okay? So now the thing I want to do, thing I want to do, thanks, Lena, appreciate you. All right, so now the thing that I want to do here at this point is I want to add an extra va 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 okay? Now, just a little extra one. So what I'll do to achieve that, all right, what I'll do to achieve it is I might add a little bit of, of um, like we did this one. We added this little part on the outside. So you just, you know, make sure that's on the outside of the heart. Let's see over here. Oh, there's some more yellow that's on the outside. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger and so that it comes on the outside of the heart, right? <clears throat> just like that. And I want to make a tail on this one. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but I'm going to do it now. So I'm just going to grab this and make a tail on it like that. But it sits outside of the heart. And then we have this yellow one that sits out. I mean, it doesn't sit out, but it's out. So we're just going to bring it out a little more on the outside of the heart. Make it a little stand out. It's like coming off of the heart now. We're working off of the heart. Now, we don't want to do too much of this, but I'm going to grab some green, and I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just make it bigger outside of heart. Make that curly cue a little bit bigger than it was already intended to be. We're just going to make it a little larger, okay? And maybe grab some of this white here, and we're going to do the same thing with this white one. Just kind of bring it off the heart a little bit. Just bring it off. Just bring it off of there. Yeah. All right, and maybe over here. What we have? Purple? All right. We'll get some lavender. Well, actually, it wasn't. It was blue. We'll just put some lavender and blue together, and we'll make this one off the, off the heart a little bit, like so. Just in a swirly motion. All right? Just in a swirly motion. And you don't have to do all of them that way, just some of them. All right, so you can do that now. <clears throat> <clears throat> One color we did not fool with at all was some black, right? But we have this dark purple. We have some green. So we're going to mix this dark purple and we're going to mix this green together, right? And we'll get something really, really dark. It's not a black. It's not a brown. It's not a green. It's not a purple. It's something we made, right? So what we're going to do at this moment right here is maybe a couple of these curly cues. We can go around in, you know what I mean? Go around, make the circle in and drag it. And it's just going to kind of define these, the inside of some of these. Like this one was a red one. It was solid. We didn't put too much in there. So we're just going to kind of twirl around in there and just make a spiral looking type of situation. You feel me? So we'll get up some more of this purple. Maybe this pink one, we could do a little spiry spiral look inside of that one as well okay just kind of dragging around just a little bit and we are now just trying to add some color some shadowing let me put it that way not color but shadowing so we're just gonna swing around a little bit like so all right and add those type of things now you can do that until you're tired all right you can do that until you're tired or, you know, if you mess up, you can always paint back over it if you don't like what you're seeing. Um, but for me, I love it. I love it, and I think it's great. So um, with that being said, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and sign my art. I'm going to find the smallest brush that I can, all right? The smallest, eeniest, weeniest, tiniest, bittiest. Itty witty, tiny, 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 tiny brush. You know, I'm looking for an itty witty, tiny, 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 tiny brush. I ain't seeing my itty. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right. So you wet it and get yourself a good point, you guys, okay? Not too wet. So go ahead and just squeeze that water out of that brush 
and get yourself a nice point, the best point that you can get. Find you a color paint that you would like to sign with. Me, I'm going to pick green. All right, so we got this green brush right here. I'm just going to get into this right here. Come on over here. Now, if you want to do a second coat on your outside, you can. It's all right. Fail free if you feel like it needs to. So I'm going to go ahead and sign. I'm signing by the smallest, smallest little bit that I can sign it. I'm going to use the brush and sign it. Okay. And if I can't get my whole name on there with that, I'll come get some more paint. Yeah. Make sure I'm right on the tip of my brush. I put the A-U-N, the T to the double E, baby. Okay. Hey. So I put the on T. Yeah. Like so. And that's going to go seven, five, five. Just like that. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day coming up. Now you have a gift. And you can do these for everybody in your family. It doesn't just have to be for your mom. It could be for whoever is a mom, okay? Or whoever is, like, you know, like, been taking care of you. You guys, feel free to make this for anybody you love. All right, so let me switch my camera over so I can show you guys. Um, I'm glad you caught me today as well, Good Eats. What do you think about the art for today? Yeah, I think it's awesome. All right, so we'll be working back again on a Renegade Raider. Hopefully next week we've got to wait for Christopher. We do not make a move on this until Christopher short because he is that important to us and that painting is important to him. So we, we're we we're dedicated to making sure that he is part of that painting when it goes down. As for this piece right here, you guys, I think this is awesome. Yeah, look at that. So you can make this, and it'd be just great for your mom. I'm telling you, she's going to love it. She's going to be so happy. And so while I'm talking about being happy, nothing makes me happier than tacos. So Cinco de Mayo, man, we made these tacos, and I enjoyed them. So this is some last week work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Cinco de Mayo tacos. They're delicious. And I'm really meaning, if you saw my short. You know, I made tacos that look just like them, and I ate them up, and they were delicious. And also, I want to send a shout-out to Strength From Within. Her cat shadow is at it again, honey. Yeah, so we got another one. Strength From Within wanted that painting so bad. And you guys know I do not sell. I, I try to keep all of our Just Kidding art. But it was her cat that I painted for us, and she wanted it so bad. And uh I sent it to her. So I had to paint a new one for us. So I painted this one. Look at that. You can see that. Uh, Y'all see that work in that background. Don't play with me. Look at that. And look at that. Don't play. Auntie 755 got little skills now. So I painted this for her. And this is Shadow. So we got Shadow sent out again. All right. Shadow is out of here. All right. So just to change my camera around at the, at the time I'm going to uh, let you guys watch this little short video and I'll be right back it's hot noon it's hot noon it's hot noon draw set up set up set up get ready get ready get ready I'm too set up five five is here the wait is over just kidding are you ready all right, we ready. Yeah, we ready. Okay, so it's been a really cool show. I'm happy y'all all came. Appreciate you. And for everybody that's catching the replay, if you have any difficulties painting this, you can always feel free to hit me up at 755 Media Art. Oh, and it, it just went off, but it'll be back. It always comes back. Okay, so yeah, make sure y'all do that. Hot Wheel Day is coming up soon, so make sure you get your Hot Wheels. I have mine already. Also, I had this really cool match car, you guys. Think big, paint small. You know how I like to do it. So I got the match box, and I also have a uh, Hot Wheel coming up. The Hot Wheel we're going to do 
Number 22. There it is. Convertible, baby. Yeah, I know y'all love it. All right, so we're going to get this thing together. Make sure y'all uh, stay tuned for that upcoming. So we'll be doing that. And I'll probably do an ATC card, just like I did the other Hot Wheels. You know the small ATC paintings? There it go. There it go. So, yeah, we'll probably do an ATC off of that one. Um, Maybe not the match bots. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out if you're interested in um, wanting me to do an ATC with you guys on that. Matchbox, we will. Uh, so hopefully next week, you know, we'll be working on a Renegade Raider. If not, I'll substitute it for something else, and we're gonna just put that down. That's it. That's all to it. That's how much I care about you guys. All right, I really do. <clears throat> so, uh, what else I say to you guys? If you need pigments, if you guys need any kind of micro pigments, I have them for you. I am I can affiliate. You see the link in my description below. And also, we'll be starting to work on watercolors. Maybe we can do our new Hot Wheel in the watercolor. Uh, if you guys have watercolor paints, let me know. And your parents can let me know in the chat. We can let me know by email if you're interested in doing some watercolors. Um, I haven't done watercolors in many years. It's, it's, I started off doing water watercolors, so maybe it's time, time for me to get back to my roots. Hmm, you never know. Okay, I don't have a problem with doing that. So yeah, you can get um, you can get your watercolors and let me know about that. I'll be willing to work with you on those as well. And also, uh, and then PIA Passing and Tree Dogs, our good channel friend, she uh. She provided me with some fresh water colors too. So I have those to work with as well. So you guys, I hope that you had a very, very fun afternoon here at uh, Just Kitty in the 755 Media uh, franchise. I look forward to seeing y'all again soon. Until I do, I just want to say one thing to you, that you deserve art. Yeah, and kids deserve art too. Damn right. You said a purple hot wheel convertible. You loving it? Okay, fam. Let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The tacos are sweet. Thank you, PIA. I appreciate you. All right. So, you guys, go ahead. Finish up your art. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. And remember, you deserve art. I'll see you next time. I'm 755 Media. We out of here. Yeah. Let's go. It's hot noon. Hot noon. Hot noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. Draw. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll see seven, five, five. Hey. Uh -huh. is here. The wait is wait, over. Wait, wait, go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? I believe that. Uh -huh. I'm ready. It's high noon. Where?
Make sure they did not say. Just kidding. And pain.